Welcome to Vulnerability Tools of the Trade. In this chapter, we're just going to go over some of the more popular vulnerability scanners. As you can see, Nessus, Saint, Retina, Qualys, GFI Landguard, and Microsoft Baseline Security Analyzers. Uh, the, the MVSA, Microsoft Baseline Security Analyzer, is not really a full-blown vulnerability scanner like these others are. The MVSA is free, though, which is kind of nice. Nessus is uh, rather popular. I know a fellow pen tester that is very fond of this product. It's his very favorite. Uh, this has kind of a Linux background. It's, you, you saw this more in the Linux environment at first. It is, when they say agentless patch, that means you don't have to put the software on the system to make it workable. And so server works as a daemon. Think of that as like a, a service at the back end and client uses it as a front end. Uh, the whole point of this tenable Nessus is to, with any of these, to discover vulnerabilities and then you could take these vulnerabilities that it discovers in a more automated fashion and then decide if you're going to do pen testing, which means you go in there as an ethical hacker and actually try to punch through the vulnerabilities. These type products save you a lot of effort because they go ahead and do some of the research for you, they come back and they're already programmed to know the vulnerabilities, the main vulnerabilities that are published. And that way, if it sees them, it lets us know that, then we can come back again and try to pen test with what it has done for us automatically, which is really nice. Saint, I have used before in, in a production environment, in a real environment, and it is a great tool. Is kind of a Linux Unix base, not a Windows base. And it, it's, it does have a vulnerability assessment side. It has a penetration testing side to it as well that can be used. It, like many, uh, correlates to the common vulnerabilities and exposures list, which actually has vulnerabilities spelled out and numbered. And then you could then link to other websites like ExploitDB and try to exploit you know, basically play ethical hacker and see if you can punch past these vulnerabilities that it claims it has. Realizing that some vulnerabilities that it may claim are there may be false positive. And this is generically speaking for all the vulnerability scanners, not picking on Saint. Okay. So it's, it's nice how it does tie into the CV more than some of them. It's really quite nice. Really good tool. Quite fond of it. What I really like about it too is that it creates these creates these wonderful reports for you, and you can you get these nice bar charts, pie charts, and it's the reports are just beautiful that it puts together for you. Another popular tool that I've seen used in the military is Retina, and they recently, from what I've understood, changed to another tool. But for many many years, this has been the one, and Retina is a very reputable security scanner. All of these security scanners are quite similar in nature. It just comes down to features and their database of vulnerabilities as well as pricing and maybe preference too on which one you would choose. But Retina is great. Qualys Guard, I don't hear this in quite as much, but it's another of the many vulnerability scanners. Mentioned perimeter scanning here. GFI LandGuard. LandGuard's been around for many years, also has reporting capability, uh, gives you good information like you can see here, service pack level, open shares, open ports, services applications, I mean really, really good tool too. Microsoft Baseline Security Analyzer is not really in the same category as the others. This one is more of a just free tool that you can download and you're able to run on your system just to get the basic vulnerabilities of your system and let you know if you need some patches applied. It's been around as far back as I can remember, it seems like with Microsoft. I mean, they, they say Windows 2000 Plus. That's pretty far back. It's hard to find much older than that. And you can see it really only checks out the Microsoft product line. It does have support to look for vulnerabilities, a lack of patching for Microsoft products. Your other more stream, more mainstream, I would say, vulnerability scanners like the Nessus and the Saint and the Retina, those are more equipped to identify vulnerabilities with a variety of software packages. 
not just Microsoft. But this is a nice one to download. It's free. Uh, I've actually got some nice tools, a little screenshots here to kind of show off how easy it is. It's very graphical. They're able to go in here and pick a computer or multiple computers to scan. You can look at a security report. It comes back color coded just like all the others. But again, it's just Microsoft specific. Now, before we go into this, I'm just going to show a couple screenshots here. Uh, this is just kind of showing off the Nessus vulnerability scanner. It's on tenable.com. And just a little more on this providing patch configuration, compliance, auditing, mobile, malware, botnet discovery. I mean, a lot of features. Really, really great tool. Retina, graphical interface. Again, Nessus was more, has a background of being Linux based. Retina has always been Windows. Windows based, color coded nicely. Um, the red generally means bad. <laughs> red is really, really high, high risk level. And plus they, they tell you how to fix it. And generally fixing these problems, uh, you will find that they recommend certain patching be done generally. GFI Landguard, some just some screenshots from that. Windows based, very friendly and graphical. Saint is kind of more of a Linux based system. So it's a little bit different. But again, great reporting, vulnerability and penetration testing. Now you may have noticed on some of these, or several of these, they actually mention the CVE, linking to the CVE. That's kind of common vulnerability and exposures. And there's actually uh, there's a website dedicated to that, and you will see the some of the vulnerability scanners will link to this and actually have an exact CVE number, and then it will give you more information about the vulnerability that was discovered. Now, once you have run these vulnerability assessment tools, whichever one you choose, um, is this talking about dealing with the results that you get? Said many security companies will simply use the results from the automated vulnerability assessment tools in a pen testing report and then charge quite a bit of money for it, $25,000. But realize that's not really sufficient. Running a vulnerability assessment tool can give you false positives. Everything that it comes back with does not mean that these are necessarily true problems. They could be false positives. So it would be the best to follow up with penetration testing, which is also known as ethical hacking. So you get these results, but you still want to come in and actually see what you can punch through and not just simply run the vulnerability scan and say, yes, Saint or Nessus or Retina said that these were our problems. And in actuality, they may not be true. They need to be tested. Now, if you are hired to do a penetration test, you do want to stay within the boundaries of that pen test. There may be some restrictions to actually not go beyond certain parts of the company to not at attack certain machines that they have. You may even find that some of the vulnerability assessment parts that you do may be so intrusive that you have to back off how, how heavy the vulnerability assessment phases are because it can actually affect the machines. Big point here, written authorization to exploit such systems is imperative. And again, like I said, they, they might actually, sorry, tell you that you know, you're not to go beyond uh, certain bounds. You can pen test these systems, don't pen test those systems. Only take it so far because they, we are doing a penetration test on a company that does need to stay functional and working because they're earning money and we certainly can't be responsible for shutting them down because of our security test. Always get written authorization though, not verbal. As far as patch management, when we run the vulnerability assessment and you do the penetration testing, the vulnerability assessment program would have come back and given us information on what we should do to patch the systems and remedy some of these vulnerabilities. And you can use a variety of patch management systems. And as you see here, if you want to go with the free option, there's WSS, Windows Server Update Services. And of course, there's also third party. So in this chapter, we have looked at some of the top vulnerability assessment tools, Nessus, Saint, Retina, Qualys, GFI, Landguard, and 
course, Microsoft Baseline Security Analyzer not quite in the same category as, as the above vulnerability assessment tools, just Microsoft specific. And hopefully you can check out the pricing on these and see what would fit you the best.